Hey everyone, Fi Farley here. It is January 13th. Happy Monday, everybody. We got a short slate of college basketball. I'm going to bounce through. I've capped every game today, and there is, uh, well, there's best bet, and there's some other plays. There's some other games in there to pull out. Southwest Athletic Conference on full feature today. The MEAC out there. A big Sky game and a Patriot game. Um, I got two cents on each of them. I got an opinion, but I got one play, so I'm going to get to that in one second. Uh, first, though, let me tell you, thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you just new getting into this, thank you so much for checking out the uh, the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. Get my picks as soon as they come out if you're new. I uh, appreciate it. And for those of you who have been around for a long time, uh, you know how much I appreciate you guys. It means a lot to me. So uh, uh, coming off a rough weekend here, my Seahawks losing, which was terrible. It was a terrible game. Hated every bit of it. Uh, even when we were coming back, I hated it. Um just uh, there wasn't a lot to like. Um, anyway, also a rough capping weekend. I'm looking forward to getting to this week and moving on and getting some winners out there and uh, turning this ship around. So um, I know it will happen. I've done this for a long time. <clears throat> I've been in situations worse than this, so um, it all I'll bounce right back. So looking forward to doing that starting with today. Also, though, college football championship real quick before I'm not going to break down the whole game, um, but I will say my best bet. Since I'm not putting a video out or anything like that, Clemson LSU is the first half under. Um, I think we forget often about the the uh, championship game, about the defenses, and both are top 10 defenses. So uh, people often think about the offense and what LSU just did against Oklahoma, one of the worst defenses in the country. So I want to uh, point out the defenses uh, that are going to be in here and how uh, Clemson is going to want to control the clock, keep that ball away, get away from Joe Burrow. And uh, I think he'll do that through the run and try and uh, uh, maintain the football through the first half. Worked in the Ohio State game. Let's see if it can work in this game, too. So first half under is my best bet. All right, now let's talk about college basketball. Real quick, I'm going to chime in on this Montana-Portland State game. So uh, my lean was the home team and, the, and, uh, and potentially the under with Montana controlling the tempo against Portland State. Portland State just came off a great win against Montana State. Last second win, two seconds left. They hit the game-winning bucket um, against Montana State. Montana, huge win over Eastern Washington. Now they're back home. They got Idaho up next at home. Not a whole lot to look forward to. But here is a. It seems like it could be a flat spot for Portland State, um, even though they beat Montana twice last year, Montana being the superior team. They still beat them twice. Um, so was leaning towards the under, but also the uh, the home team in that one, just a lean, two cents uh, that I had on the game. I also like Bethune-Cookman uh, at home. Um, I, I've liked them in, in a couple spots this year. So uh, And you guys know how I feel about Laurel, Maryland. Uh, I have faded them a couple times. Um, I don't like that they're at home and giving up three and a half, but uh, if I had to go with a lean, it would be on the Boston University side. All right. Now let's talk best bet. Oh, and you're going to love it, man. Southwest Athletic Conference, Alabama State at home. That's right. Uh, if you can name their mascot, uh, you are probably better than 99% uh, of the people out there. The Hornets going to be hosting uh, the Golden Lions. I had, I had to look up Arkansas Pine Bluffs, the Golden Lions uh, uh, today. Now, so here's one thing to note. So Arkansas Pine Bluff, 352nd ranked offense in the country. They're second to worst in the entire country. Uh, Maryland Eastern Shore, fun fact, the worst offense in the country. Um, they rarely score over 50 points a game. The majority of their games, they have not broken the 50 marker or 50 or less. So it's going to be very difficult in this conference game on the road also, fun fact, Arkansas Pine Bluff has not played a home game yet. So here they have their last road game before playing Southern next week at home. I think they're going to be looking forward to that. I think Alabama State now getting their second home game, just coming off their first home game against Mississippi Valley, worst team in the country. Um, one of the fastest tempoed teams, though. Uh, and they get a win by six there in that one. They had almost a 20-point lead. They saw that come back the other way, end up getting a six-point win. Before that, covering two straight against Jackson State, Grambling. I think this Alabama State team is actually not that bad. And here they get a home game against a team that has not seen home um, in two months as far as uh, basketball uh, opponents go. So they've been on the road this whole way through. And Alabama State going to be at home. I'm laying the six-and-a-half with Alabama State Hornets. 
uh, here in this one, while Pine Bluff, again, I don't see how you break 50, how you don't break 50 and you cover this six and a half here. So um, I don't think they do. I think we got about a 12 point win for Alabama State at home. So I'm gonna lay the six and a half as a best bet. All right, there you go, everyone. Good luck, everyone, today. And we'll see you again soon.